Hello everyone, how are you today? Thank you for joining me today. I'm Lori from Art Lore, and um, I'm not a real pastel girl, but um, I'm going to give it a try. So um, I've done, I think, one other video. I don't even know if it's posted yet or not uh, with some pastels, but this whole palette is going to be pastel. Um, except for the gold and um, the uh, TLP um, Nightfall. and But that does have a tendency to get a little bit lighter. Um, it just incorporates itself into the, um, into the other paints. And um, it has flecks of it in and out of the paint. And it, and it, it ends up being and looking pastel. So I'm going to consider it a pastel for now. Um, Gallery Wrap Canvas from Michaels, an 18 by 24. I'll have my um, pouring medium and the uh, pillow listed in the uh, description box below, along with the colors. But um, for now, just to give you a heads up, it's the PPG Multi Pro Interior Eggshell. It's the 473110 for my pillow. My pouring medium, it's the new one. Um, Bear 8300 and the Sherwin Williams Infinity. I do equal parts of that. And then um, one part. So like if I have equal parts of that, which would be a cup, then I do a half a cup of the Minwax Polycrylic. And I've been using the clear gloss and I've been liking it. And then of course my cell activator is the wonderful um, Australian Floetrol with oxide black from Amsterdam and that is four to one and I made up some new today so I'm hoping that the uh, cells will take nicely let's get down to the canvas let's make a mess and check out my colors all right I'll get you down here I think I'm going to pull you back just a teeny bit there we go Uh, I think I'll pull you back a teeny bit more. Sorry about that. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so for the first one, it is the Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. And I'm almost thinking that this is not quite as pastel as I would like it to be. So I think I might end up adding more white to that. Um, I think it needs to be a little bit more pastel because it's looking a little solid there. Plus it's an opaque, so it may pull a little bit dark. So I may have to fix that. Um, here's the lovely, lovely TLP Harvest Gold. Madly in love with that. Um, this is the Nightfall. I'm just going to be drizzling that on there. Even though that looks dark, it will come up a little bit lighter than that. And then this one here, I took um, Liquitex Light Pink and then Liquitex Raw Sienna. And I made a really light coral. And I think that's going to pair quite nicely with the purples. And I'm hoping that it'll pair quite well with this. And this is the... Liquitex Aqua Green. And then I added white to uh, tone it down and make it a little bit more pastel. So I'm hoping that looks pastel. All right, so here we go. So let me grab my white. I don't want to knock it over there. And just give me two, two ticks here so that I can add more white to this violet. And let's get it a little bit lighter. There, I think that's better. There, Oop. I think that's better. It's not so dark now. Oh, 
little bit thicker than what I like, but I can always add a tiny bit of polyacrylic mixed with water, and I do three to one. Okay, there we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay, let's see how this all pairs up. So, let's see here. Okay, so we're gonna start down here, I think. Bang, bang, and bang. And I think I'll start with the aqua. Cause I kinda like the aqua to, I for some reason feel like when you put your first color down, that tends to show a little bit more. So, you know, I changed my mind. I think I'm gonna start in the center. I'm gonna start a little bit off center. There we go. So we're going to do that color first. And then we really wanna end with a tube. So let's do this one next. Those are pretty together. And then we're going to drizzle. I need to put my kickstand down here. Hold on. There we go. And then I'm going to drizzle the nightfall on. Oh my gosh, this nightfall is so pretty. I'm learning how to use the TLPs. And I've been afraid of them, if you really want to know the truth. It's very overwhelming. Um, I don't know. I've just been a little bit skeptical with myself, not them, but with myself. And um, yeah, I, 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 I've got two down now. I've got the Harvest Gold and the Nightfall. So now I'm going to be working on another color and I'm hoping that will go as well. So then I'll have three TLPs under my belt. All right, so now here we come with the Permanent red violet, or the permanent blue violet, excuse me, mixed with white. And I'm going to go in the center and then drizzle around. And hopefully that won't overpower the aqua. And actually, if you really want to know the truth about it, I think, because I really love this aqua, um, I'm going to just drizzle a little tiny bit on top. Here we go. Okay, self-activator. And then we're going to go high fan and cool air. And that, all right, here we go. all the colors are showing up. The corally color is a little bit lost, so I might add a little bit more of that, but the aqua showed up nicely. The harvest um, gold obviously is in there and it's gorgeous, but I think I need to add a little bit more in the next bloom. Um, the nightfall is showing up quite lovely. So yeah, I think we're doing okay. And I think I'm just going to let that do its own thing for a change. And let's just see how that sells up. I usually puff on that with the straw. I'm just gonna see if it does anything. And if not, well, it is what it is. So we're going to put a little bit more paint right here. So I've got something for the petals to land on when I blow them out. They're not just on the dry canvas. 
It is selling up, but not a whole lot. We'll just give it some time. We'll see. Okay, here we go again. I'm going to go in the same order because I really like what I'm seeing here. Um, I'm going to go right here. I'm not going to go for a whole lot of negative space. So I don't mind these being really close to each other. There, we'll add a little bit more extra. Oh my goodness, I swear. There we go. Okay, nightfall, here you come. I actually could add a little bit more of this so that it really pulls in with all the other colors. Love this gold. I should have enough just for one more bloom. Even though I don't want to go with a whole lot of negative space, I think the, there's enough pillow on there. And it's selling up pretty nicely, actually. Not too bad. There's that little black in the center, but I think that's okay. All right. Little drizzle of that around. And then again with the aqua. Just gonna drizzle a little bit of that on there. I'm I I'm really surprised that I actually like these pastel colors because I'm not a pastel person, but oh my gosh, that is really pretty. Really, really pretty. Okay, so here we go. I should have not moved my kickstand. See, there we go. And just a scant more. There we go. Okay. Okay, and if you noticed, I turned my uh, fan down lower when I got into here. It's It still wasn't doing what I wanted it to do, but at least it did push it in to this section here. So now I'm just going to give it a little bit of a puff here. sure I'm not hitting the canvas with my shirt. You know, this one is not selling up nearly as nice. So I think I need to help it along. Okay. Really pretty colors. Okay, a little bit more paint down here. One more bloom. And then we get to spin. It's 
actually a nice day here in Michigan where I live. We have sun and we're actually going to grill out today. The little things in life, right? Yeah, I'm not real wild about that right there, but hopefully that'll, once that spins out, it might do something interesting there. I don't know what I did wrong with the blow dryer, but I didn't hit it very well. But the cells are coming up quite lovely. So, and this celled up very, very nice in the center. So let's just do another one. Let's see. I'm gonna go just a little bit over this way. Put another one there. Don't really need as much paint, that's for sure smaller location you're going to lose a, I'm going to lose a lot of it anyway with the spinning which is fine that's plenty Oh, I love, love, love this gold. I just kind of want to like wear it. There we go. One more little shot of color. And then the aqua and we are golden. We are TLP golden. There we go. Yippee skippy. Okay. Oh, it's actually selling up pretty good. I still don't like that little, it looks like a smudge but maybe I can take my skewer and just kind of incorporate a little bit of black line through there and that'll take away that, that smudgy look. I'll do that after I blow this out. I'm gonna add just a little tiny bit more. Okay, here we go. Last but not least. like that because it's too there's no bloom there um, I actually think I'm going to hit it with my dryer just real quick just to mess that up a little bit it still is a little bit so I think I'll give that a little puff There, that's better. It's not so zigzaggy. There we go. Okay, so where's that smudge? Here we are. Let's find a nice skewer with that tip is nice and sharp. And I am going to, I'm actually going to dip it in the cell activator. I can't see because my shadow is in the way. There we go. Sorry, I'm gonna have to go this way. Paper towel.
there. At least it doesn't look like a smudge anymore. It's not perfect, but it's better than what it was. Okay, that's held up pretty good. Not too shabby. Colors are so pretty. I do want to get rid of this. softer line. It'll still be a line there, but it'll be softer than what it was. Okay, let's do it. Let's get ready to spin. Okay, time to spin. Let me get my board here. And I hope and pray to the Lord this does not fly off. This board underneath here on top of my spinner is way smaller than the canvas. Oh my Lord above. So let's pray to the gods, the painting gods. It does not fly off. I do have it stuck, I hope. I have it stuck on there with paint. I put paint on the bottom side of the canvas to stick on top of the board. And I'm hoping that that will work. So, because I do want to give it a little bit harder spin. Losing one of the blooms completely all together, which is okay, I guess. Um, it'd be nice if that could come this way a little more, but I can't move the canvas at all. So I'm going to have to hope for the best here. Is coming that way little by little. Well, we started out with three and we're ending up with two, which is fine. Let's try it one more time. Oh, I gotta find out where I am. Where's my board? I don't wanna pull on the canvas and because I have push pins underneath the canvas for my drying table and I don't wanna pull on that. I'll pull the canvas right off. Oh, just the thought of that gives me chills. It's pretty. Oh my gosh, that nightfall is so yummy. Oh, it's yummy. With that harvest gold. Oh. I was wondering if I should have put yellow in there. Like a really soft yellow. 
learning how to use pastels. What is that? Ugh. That's something yucky in the corner of the canvas. <clears throat> scissors out for that one. If I don't do it now, I'll forget and then it'll dry weird. So I gotta find it. It's right here. It's weird because I looked at all my corners too. Sometimes the canvases are not the greatest with their corners. I don't know why, but I'm gonna just stop the thumb in it. There, all better. Okay, so there you have it. Sorry about the sidetrack, the sidebar there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I should have added yellow, but I think I like the colors. I feel like they are um, pastel. And I think it's quite pretty. All right, let me dry my hands off and I'll take you down. And you can see how pretty that is. All right, here we go. I'm going to turn it this way. And there we have it. You see the shimmer of the gold? There's that center. I think I'm going to fix this though. I don't like that at all. So I'll have to fix that. Yes, it's very, very pretty. Gold. There's the yummalicious gold. Very pretty. Lots of shimmer going on, even in the white areas. This is pretty down here. Yeah, all good. Hey, thanks for joining me today. If you like this video, please like it for me and subscribe. That would be great. I'd be very grateful. I hope you all enjoy your day today. And until next time, bye.